and then Ligrix Arnold rendering specialist out of the desk, which will quickly cover how to render this mech model using Toon Shader in M2A. Okay, so I've got this rather heavy mech model here. I'm going to start off by creating a sky dome light. It's going to increase the exposure to two, and then connect a physical sky to the color of the sky dome light. Increase the elevation and change the azimuth to minus 90. And then I'm just going to reduce the viewport radius so we don't see it in the viewport up to zero. Okay, I'm going to start off a render in the viewport. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera visibility to zero. And then in the render settings environment, I'm going to add a ray switch to the background and change the camera to white, the white background. I'm going to add a few images. So under images in the render settings, we can add an uh, Intel denoise imager and a lens effect. So we can add some vignetting. Also can add a tone map imager and create a LUT, my favorite LUT. And then finally going to add a color correct. So I want to create a black and white image, so I'm just going to reduce the saturation to zero. I select everything and assign a scene shader to it. Okay, so we won't see any tune edges because we haven't set the filter type to contour. So under the render settings filter, change the type to contour. I should see the tune edges in the render view. Okay, so I'm going to start off at the top of the tune shade and work my way down. The width scan is quite high at this resolution, so I'm going to change that, bring it down to 0.6. You might want to change that value depending on the resolution you're rendering at. Okay, reduce the angle threshold to 30 so that we see more tune edges. And change the normal type to geometric normal because we're rendering a lot of geometric objects here. So we're getting lots more tune edges. Okay, so that's the edges done. Reduce the base weight slightly and I'm going to connect a curvature shader to the base color. But we're going to do it through a color correct, which will be obvious while I'm doing that in a second. Okay, and in the input of the color correct, connect a curvature shader there. And I'm going to increase the samples to six to improve the quality and the radius to something like four. So now we can start to see the curvature effect around the edges of the geometry. We want to invert this effect, so I'll go back to the color correct and enable invert. So now you can see the curvature around the inner edges of the geometry. Now that the shading is quite soft at the moment, so if we go back to the base tone map and connect a ramp RGB there, that should give us more of a tune look. I want to set the interpolation to none for the black and white. And just add another couple of shades in between, like a dark grey and a lighter grey. Maybe bring these down so we get more white. So, now we go back to the tune shader, we increase the specular weight and specular roughness to about 0.3. So getting a nice specular highlight on the front here and uh, up here. So I'm going to do the same with the specular tone up, just add a ramp RGB. So interpolation to none. Can add some more grey here. Give that a tighter specular highlight. Light up yeah. make it a bit darker. So maybe something like that. I can always tweak it further, but I'm quite happy as it is. Thanks for watching and bye for now.